what I want to do is to talk with you about the basic stuff of doing couples interviews that we don't learn in graduate school. I mean, one version of this uh, presentation is uh, what they didn't teach you in graduate school. Um, and what we tend to learn are models and theories, um, but how to actually get through a session with a couple. And I, um, it, 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 I, I wrote about this once, uh, about the, uh, uh, that if there's a contest for the worst experience in a first session of couples therapy in a career, like the first time, I, I have one that I like to enter. The very first time I ever saw a couple. It was about 15 minutes in. They were meandering around. I was meandering with them. And the husband, it was a husband and wife pair, the husband said to me, I don't think you know what you're doing. <laughs> that was the most perceptive comment anyone made in the entire <laughs> session. Uh, about 10 minutes later, my right eye started to twitch. <laughs> so I've lived, I've lived to tell about it. Um, and, uh, and, and as I have done this work and taught and supervised, I've been more and more struck by how we don't talk about the basics. It's like we're training surgeons, but we don't talk about creating a sterile field and where you do the incision and how you get to the organ, how you, how you tie people up. And a lot of the mistakes, a lot of, of bad outcomes in couples therapy happens in the first session. 